All right, now let's check in on traffic and weather. That is the big story today, mm -hmm. 617 this morning. That's and all right. And depending on where you are in North Texas, that's going to, you know, it might affect your commute. Exactly. And it's all dependent on the freezing line. Annalise has been talking about it all morning long, but this line that you see that I've outlined in black, that is the line that determines whether you're going to see slick road conditions or just wet road conditions. And I do want to point out, put your worries at ease. DFW as a whole only seeing those wet road conditions this morning. Denton County, Collin County, Dallas County, and Tarrant County, no reports of ice so far on those roadways. Now that freezing line is important because to the west of that, that is where you're going to see those slick roads possible. To the east of that, no widespread road issues because of the fact that the temperatures just don't support ice forming on those roads. Now I do want to point out the difference because it is a vast difference if you're on the west side of that freezing line. Take a live look from our uh, photojournalist and storm chaser, Jason McLaughlin. He's in the Bryson area, and you can see very slick road conditions, and in fact, not very many people out on the roadway. He's been tracking very slick road conditions all the way from Jacksboro over to Bryson. But our TechStock camera just to the east of that freezing line showing just wet road conditions along I 20 in Palo Pinto County. You can see traffic having no issue navigating those roadways. Again, just a slick commute there as we are seeing some rain on those roadways. Parker County, the northwest portion, does have a little bit of freezing road temperatures right around that northwest corner as you're getting into the Wise County and Jack County area. Those would be rural roadways that likely were not pre-treated for ice. So definitely utilize a little extra caution in that area. Denton County, where Mobile 11 Storm Chaser is, no issues. This is a live look at 35E. You can see traffic moving along just fine there. And down south in Tarrant County, where Mobile 11 is along West Loop 820 through the Lake Worth area, there too, no major issues. So you shouldn't wake up and worry about getting to work on time because you should be able to get there with no delays. To Collin County and Dallas County, you're seeing wet road conditions. But again, no widespread issues regarding any ice, just your normal accidents. 175 westbound near Bear. And the other crash on 35E northbound near 67. Let's talk to Annalise more because this rain could turn to sleet or maybe even snow later today.